unfortunately, there's a terrific amount of, of mileage to be derived from pandering to people's fear of self-responsibility. <coughs> and politicians pander to it all the time, as we know. Uh, the welfare programs, without exception, began as strategies that were intended to remove dependency. <laughs> in the initial formulations and in the initial statements of the Great Society or the other pro programs of those times and since, the theme was very strong to eliminate dependency. Now, we know that no such result was achieved. We know that not only did the programs not eliminate dependency, but that the dependency problem is much, much worse than it was 40 years ago. The government really runs a very interesting kind of protection racket, which is first they break your legs and then they charge you for medical services. <laughs> And they say, look, these people can't walk. They need our help. <laughs> and many of the programs of the last several decades have been profoundly corrosive of people's self-esteem and self-respect. And we have created a nation with increasing numbers of people who have a dependency orientation and increasing numbers of people who really do think they are entitled to just about anything they think they need, they feel a sense of entitlement toward. And that is a, a really a profoundly corrupting idea. And in fighting for um, libertarianism, we have to be absolutely clear that this is one of the most important battlegrounds. I remember being at a dinner party a month or two ago, and I was with a, a group of... Uh, people that I didn't know, but I think were Democrats, quite nice people and interested people, people curious about libertarianism. And they asked me about the whole issue of health care. And what I thought about the number of people who were uninsured. And how would libertarians address that problem? And I said, well, before we get into discussing how I would see or how my fellow libertarians might see issues of that kind being addressed in a free society. Let's go to a deeper level. Is it your conviction that health care is a natural right? And they looked nonplussed because they were kind of intelligent, decent people and they didn't quite feel comfortable saying yes. Now, I know lots of <laughs> I know I know lots of other people who would righteously say yes, but I don't hang out with those so much, you see. <laughs> and so I said, and they said, well, an, a right. I said, here is something that libertarianism stands for. You can't have a natural right, meaning an unearned right, to something that has, somebody else has to produce. I said, now, however. Health care is, after all, a, a service, a product that somebody has to bring into existence. And in our view, you can't, you can't have a, a right to that just from the fact that you're born. Because look at the position that it puts for the people from whom you are to collect this right. They become your serfs. And I don't think any of you at this table, I said with my usual diplomacy, want to stand up for such a viewpoint.